What's up guys, it's Apollo Uchiha here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a new movie. The name of this movie is What If Naruto Was Neglected and Had Gravity Released? And yeah guys, it is an unscripted movie. Now before continuing this, shout out to you where it is to you. Shout out to my boy Moose underscore Yeet1 for suggesting me this idea. But I'm going to be adding my own twist and turns in this one as well. Now moving onwards, a subscriber has requested me to give him a shout out as well. Kage Black, he has started his own channels in which he makes what ifs over of Deku and Naruto as well so yeah do check it out and subscribe if you like the content as well and moving onwards make sure you leave a like and subscribe to both of my channels as well and yeah I will not be uploading any video on my second channel today but from tomorrow onwards I will be uploading a new series there because from the looks of it you're not liking the Luffy series and to be honest the wording in that series is not that great either and I am not liking it as well for the time being but that doesn't mean I'm gonna just stop it here I'm gonna be uploading it but not so frequently anymore I'm gonna find a series which is best suitable for the second channel and that is why I'm taking a day off for the second channel anyways do enjoy the story and make sure you leave a like and subscribe to both of my channels and without any further ado let's begin with our today's story roll the intro Our story begins one month after the QB attack in Konoha, Gakure, and Isato. As we go towards the village to see that the outer skirts of the village was already being reconstructed. As we go towards the Hokage office where we see Minato the Mikaze was just done dealing and having a talk with the elders as they left as Jiraiya and Hiruzen following suit walked inside. As Minato was looking stressful as Jiraiya then said, hmm, well, well, well. What do we have here? Konoha's hero and savior looking all stressed and down. What got in you so down, kid? Ah, sensei! I didn't expect you to be back so soon. Well, I tried my hardest to get back. I heard what happened. The news reached me quite late. But I was happy that you handled it well. Yeah, thank god I did. So, where are my godchildren? <laughs> They're with Kushina at home. And, yeah. Everything is fine, Sensei. Well, that is great and all, but Jiraiya, you told me that you had to tell something to Minato and it was urgent. Oh, yeah. Thanks for reminding me, Sensei. But we have to go towards your house, Minato. It is something that we can only discuss there in private and in secret, said Jiraiya. As Minato was now quite alerted and nodded. All right, Sensei. If it is that much important, we'll head there. And after finishing up a few bits of paperwork, Minato and the two departed towards his home. As now we see, all of them arrived at home to see that Krishna was dealing with a worry of her own. As she then said, great, you're back. What is it, Krishna? I was looking at Naruto. His eyes flashed red. What? That can be, said Minato as he arrived near Naruto to see that he was separated from the twins as he checked the seal. The seal is working fine. What could have caused that? I think it's the soul. The soul trying to take over or corrupt Naruto. Said Jiraiya. But uh, uh, it's just a, uh, you know, assumption. We, we cannot be so sure. As both of the parents then saw it in relief. Only to see that Naruto's whisker marks thicken and canine screw for a bit before retracting back. This, this is not normal. Maybe his body is not suitable enough to sustain the soul. But he's already a Jinchuriki and it said it has been a month. What if, what if he dies while extraction? Hmm, that is something that we can't do then. But we have to do something. No, we can't, said Minato. We, we can apply more seals or chakra suppressors. That is the least we can do. And that is what was applied, as Hiruzen stated. Chakra suppressors as well as few more seals to completely hold the Biju at bay. As after that, we see Jirai then said, Okay, as now this is done, I am I'm going to tell you what I came here to tell you. Remember Minato I told you a prophecy when you finished training? Yeah. I remember the prophecy. But you told me the child of prophecy was yet to be born and you do not know the details. Well, it is going to be one of your children. The child of prophecy who will write his own destiny. What do you mean? The prophecy was different before. Yes, but this time around it is completely changed. And I believe it states that the two prophecies have combined. He will make peace in this world in his own terms and ways. Wow, that is amazing. 
I mean, wow, I, I, I can't just describe how, how proud I would feel, said Kushina. See, that is what I'm telling you. But there is one problem. What? It is going to be one child. As both of the parents and Jiraiya were, as Hiruzen was shocked. What do you mean? There has to be something the other two can do. I mean, we can't ignore the others, right? Said Hiruzen. You're telling the truth, Sensei, but I have been given the prophecy and has been given the task to choose the right one. What happens if you choose the wrong one, Sensei? Said Minato. Well, uh, I don't know. What? What do you mean you don't know, Jiraiya? Said Hiruzen, as Jiraiya then began to scratch the head. Well, I mean, yeah. They didn't tell me much, so this is the least bit I can, you know, remember or say. Come on, Jiraiya, I know you're lying. Tell us the truth. <sighs> Fine. The prophecy wasn't supposed to be told to me. I, I heard it. What do you mean? You heard it. They were going to tell me, but not at the moment, but I heard it anyways. And I think it is wise now to reveal this prophecy. Jiraiya, you don't mess with this prophecy and stuff. It will get you only more entangled in danger. You know that, right? And this is not just a prophecy about a person. The said person is going to save the world, as you state, in his own way. Which is quite terrifying now that you imagine. If we choose the wrong one here, then a great catastrophe might happen as well. I mean, look at the other way, Minato. Don't ignore that. Fact. As Hiruzen stated warningly, Minato and Kushina were both quiet and silent. Then who do you think is the one, Sensei? Um, Naruto possesses the soul, so I think that it's either Menma or Mito. It could be one of them. So we need to focus on the two. These two needs to be a priority. What about Naruto then? Naruto is their child. Obviously, they're gonna take care of him. But these two need to be the more prioritized one here. Alright. I guess we can do that. I mean, no harm done here, said Kushina. I mean, all we have to do is focus on their training and, you know, keep a better eye on them. And Naruto, we can, well, taking care of two we can keep an eye on the third one see splendid you don't have to worry about one bit sensei everything is under control here right right minato <laughs> yes sensei everything is fine see well i'll be leaving now and just to make sure nobody tells this prophecy to nobody okay okay sensei as you say as after that jiraiya left happily thinking that he did something good as time began to pass and now we have six years of time skip. Six years have passed after that as Minato and Kushina have focused on well Manma and Mito to see that how they were prodig prodigious and were studying much more harder to become better version of their parents. And as for Naruto, he was struggling for a bit but he was getting there as well. Unbeknownst to them, they have forgotten about the chakra suppressors and the seals that were placed there. And it was the only reason that was slowing Naruto down to the point that he couldn't be at their level. As it was any other day in the household as bo uh, the three of them were training and has gotten done as Naruto fell down to the ground panting heavily as both of his siblings stood there without even breaking a sweat. Jeez Naruto, again? It's embarrassing to be your brother. Stand up straight. Ah, <sighs> whatever, I'm done with this, said Menma as he went inside as Mito then said, loser, as she went inside as well. As Naruto then got up to look that his mother was looking at him disappointed. Jeez, Naruto. If you can't train properly, then how are you gonna catch up to your siblings? I'm trying, Kachan. Then you try and you need to try much more harder than that, Naruto. Because otherwise I'm gonna stop teaching you because I have been on the ends of my patience. Look at your siblings. They are much more better than you in every aspect of being a shinobi. You know what, Naruto? I think maybe the shinobi life isn't for you at all. As Naruto's eyes widened as he ran inside and after that day his parents stopped training him and soon after that his interactions with his family became less and less and as for Manma and Mito their egos were being bloated to a whole new level as the villagers began to recognize them as the heroes and saviors and messiahs of the village and creating stories in their name and singing their praises and all that. It was 
well, enough to bloat them and their egos. And as for Naruto, well, he was the black goat of the family, always ignored and hated by the civilians because how could a, well, not so talented person be born into such gracious family? He should be happy and, well, kissing the ground they walked upon or his family walked upon and yet he was being like this. And it only worsened when the academy years began at the age of 8. As Naruto, who was training on his own to prove himself, that to prove his parents that he worthed himself in the family, while his parents didn't give any sort of acknowledgement to his achievements. Even though he had the, those suppression seals all over his body, he was somewhat catching up to Manma and Mito, but yet, because those two were fast and didn't have any suppressors on them, they were still fast, faster than him. As now we see, at the age of 8, it was their 8th birthday and the start of the academy year. Naruto saw that his family was celebrating without him and the people literally hated him to the core that they didn't even go near him. Naruto had enough. Enough of the bullying, enough of this, this world. He was depressed. Nobody was there for him. Not even Hiruz and Sarutobi. Because he too was in the same people's bundle who was, well, praising Menma and Mito. While also giving pointers to Naruto. Not even acknowledging that he was trying his hardest. As now we see Naruto taking a kunai. A kunai that he held dear. That once his father gave him when they all became... Sh well, started their training, which was now rusted, and dashed outside of the house, dashing all the way to the forest of death. After arriving there, Naruto took deep breaths, because he knew what he was going to do. He took the kunai, slashed at his wrist, and just sat down there with a smile on his face, tears falling down. Everything will be fine now. All this pain, all this suffering will end today. No more bad names, no more nothing, no more villagers, none of them at all. As Naruto was consumed by darkness soon after that, and he opened his eyes to see that he was clouded and surrounded by white light everywhere, and behind him was a huge shadow towering over him as Naruto looked to the side to see that it was a huge fox with nine tails that looked sadly at him. Wh who are you? Hmm, I am... Kurama, said the fox after thinking for a bit. Kurama? You're the... I know, nine-tailed fox. But, but, weren't you supposed to be sealed inside my, you know, siblings? They have your chakra. <laughs> chakra. Tell me, kid. Where does chakra exist? Everywhere. True, but can a rock possess a chakra? N no. See? An immovable object without any soul cannot possess a chakra, meaning what they possess is an excessive used chakra, while I, the soul, can regenerate as much chakra as I want. As Naruto's eyes widen. So wait, wh wh what are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say is that I am the one who is sealed inside of you, my soul, my consciousness. Making you my full Jinchuriki, Naruto. As Naruto was shocked after hearing this. Wait, what? Then what about my siblings? The child of prophecy, all that stuff. <laughs> prophecy. That old bloat that told your parents about this. He did not even knew himself what he was talking about. Because he did not heard the prophecy correctly. Wait, y you know? The prophecy was stated to us by the sage himself. Even before you or any of them fool existed in this world. We carry the true prophecy, Naruto. And that is, you are the child of prophecy. What? But uh, how can that be? No, th that can be correct. I mean, I'm just, I'm just a failure. I tried again and again to catch up to them. Why was I the only one who failed? Because you had many chakra suppressor on you to suppress my soul. Because your idiot parents stopped thinking for a bit about that fact that it will slow your growth down when the time comes. As Naruto's eyes widened, they did this deliberately? Yes, Naruto, they did this deliberately. 
So all those years, me trying to prove to them that I was trying my hardest and them ignoring me was because of those suppressors. Yes, you had a lot of potential, much more than your siblings, even you can imagine. As Naruto's eyes were widened in shock, then why did I suffer so much because of them? If they knew, they had forgotten. They didn't care about that fact, Naruto. Not one bit. As Naruto was pissed, no, forget that, he was enraged. As Kyubin said, even though I am all for revenge on Konoha and its people, I think it is not suitable for you, Naruto. What do you mean? It's not suitable for me. Wouldn't you do the same in my shoes? What am I going to do or not? It can never be known because I'm not in your shoes, Naruto. But what I can tell you is that you have a good and kind soul. That is the sole reason that I am witnessing you here. What is this? You see, this is the true limbo space. The space between life and death. What? I'm not dead yet? No, you're not. Then why am I here? Because you have something to do back at home. What? I don't have a home, I guess. They hated me and the parents, well, they didn't care. My siblings, yeah, they hate my guts. I can pretty much see that. So why? What could I have back there? The prophecy, son, that you need to fulfill. Said an old man's voice. As Naruto turned around to see that, a white old man wearing white robes with a black staff in his hand was floating. As six huge black orbs were floating behind him. As his eyes opened, Naruto instantly knew who it was. The, the sage. But, but how? How is this even? As the sage chuckled, I'm impressed by your knowledge, Naruto. I, I, I see. As Naruto was quite shocked that the sage knew his name. You see, Naruto, I am saddened to know what has happened to you and what made you push so far to come to this point. But know this, my child. Some bonds are meant to be broken, and those bridges that are burned, instead of them, you create new bonds and new bridges with other people. Stronger ones. But he, what about your own blood relatives? Blood relatives or not? As I told you, some bonds are broken, some are mended, and some are replaced. It is up to you to decide what you want to do with your life, son. All I can do is give you strength and training and patience. As Naruto was shocked when he heard these words, how? By teaching you my arts and ways. You will stay here in limbo while your body is protected on the other side by Kurama himself. As Naruto after that remained in limbo for a few years, being taught by the sage everything that he needed to know. As three years went by like this, as Naruto reached at the age of 11, as Naruto was meditating in the limbo state, as he heard a voice, Naruto, as Naruto opened his eyes to see that it was a sage. What is it, Sage Sama? Well, my child, it is time for you to depart from limbo, back to the land of living. I see. So the time has finally come. Yes, it has, Naruto. And before you go, as I mentioned a year earlier, your Kekagenkai that I have given you, it's can properly integrated into your DNA. It can be passed on to your children as well. Gravity release. Remember? Y yeah. You have to learn it on your own. That is my one and final test. And once you master it, you will become the new sage. As Naruto's eyes widen, as he looked at Kurama, who has been also like a big brother figure to him now. Hmm, <laughs> told you, kid. It'll be fun here. Huh, <laughs> I guess. As now we see Naruto's eyes opened after bidding goodbye to the sage. Back to the land of living, to see that all of the chakra seals that were there were glowing. With a single hand seal, Naruto cracked them all as they turned into paper and fell down from him. Even Naruto removed the seal on his stomach that kept the QB at bay and revealed him inside his own mindscape. Well, my friend, I guess it is time for us to depart. As since it has been already three years, Naruto departed from the village, known as Konohagakure Nasato, 
as now we see him standing on the outer skirts, looking behind, with nothing but coldness in his eyes, emotionless eyes. Sayonara, Konoha. I hope I never see you again. As after that, Naruto disappeared, as he was jumping from tree to trees, aimlessly wandering, until he arrived in a city center where he joined the Hunter Nin's guild. As there, he began his Hunter Nin car career. As for his first mission, he had to go to Suna because some of the people from Suna were fed up with their demon that existed there. Now Naruto and Kyuubi talked and knew that there was another Jinchuriki there and the demon might be quoted as him. So they had to check him out first. And that is why we see Naruto was walking inside Suna as he was halted at the gates. Halt! State your business! As Naruto didn't say anything but showed the paper that was displayed there. Oh, you're here for the civilian council's mission. <laughs> Let's see how long you last, said the guards as Naruto ventured inside. As the description stated that the boy with red hair with no eyebrows, with teal green eyes. Naruto began to search the boy with that description. He finally found, after day end of search, the boy inside the park which was empty and it was already night time. As Naruto arrived and stood in front of him. Would you like to be my friend? Said the boy in a cold monotone voice. Naruto didn't say anything. It seems you're not gonna be my friend. Then you must be one of them, said the boy, as a huge hand sand charged towards Naruto. As Naruto closed his eyes as his hand moved forward, gravity push. As just like the almighty push, a gravitational force pushed it back, destroying it into splinters. As the boy was shocked as Naruto began to walk towards him. As suddenly huge amount of sand hands appeared from the ground and charged towards Naruto. Gravity dome. As Naruto was surrounded by a gravity dome, as whenever the sand tried to get near it, it would just, with the excessive force of gravity, fell down to the ground, like a limping sand. As Naruto arrived near him, the boy began to get scared. But something interesting happened when Naruto reached him. As his fist was clocked back, the boy closed his eyes, thinking that it was going to be quite painful today. He was going to get another beating that he hasn't received in many years. But... When he opened his eyes, no hit ever came to see that the fist was in front of him. Fist bump me, said Naruto. And now the boy was quite confused. If he could raise his eyebrow, which wasn't present there, he could. What do you mean? Just do it. As after that we see, the boy did as Naruto told him. As now we see, both of them opened their eyes in Mindscape. As the redhead boy was shocked to see a huge fox standing behind Naruto. Sure, you're like me said the boy as Naruto nodded. As now we see the sand one tail Biju standing behind the redhead boy. Hmm, Baka Fox, what are you doing here? It's been a long time, Shikaku. As after hearing his name, Shikaku, the youngest of the Bijus, then got straight. What's gotten into you? Why are you being so formal, Kurama? Well, we have met the father. It is about the prophecy. You mean that Naruto kid that never existed? Yeah, right. What What do you want? You mean this kid here is Naruto? I trained with the sage for three years in limbo. As this got now Shikaku enraged. Don't you dare say his name so lightly, you damn mongrel. Kurama, how can you allow, let this human live? How can you allow this to happen? Because I was there and witnessed it myself. What? Said Shikaku with wide eyes. Yes, Shikaku. What What are you doing here, then? What do you want from me, then? I want you to cooperate with your Jinchuriki. Stop making his life miserable. <laughs> Why should I? These people, they have hated me for no reason. They have even trapped me here. Hmm, I know how it feels. I have so been for more than hundred of years. <laughs> yeah, right. Like how you feel. So what do you want? I will do as you said. We're gonna work together in this. I'm gonna take him away from this village. This village is just like mine, but much more worse. What, what do you mean? Said the redhead boy. You wanted a friend, right? You got one here. I'll be your friend. Name's Naruto, by the way. N n you, you, you will be my friend? Yes. As Naruto moved his hand forward with softened eyes, as he smiled. 
as Gara had tears in his eyes as he grabbed that hand. My, my name is Gara. Gara no Sabuko. Nice to meet you, Gara. Let's be friends from now on. And Shikaku, please be nice to him and let him rest. I'm tired. I need to. As now we see, back in real life, Naruto and Kurama witnessed that shinobis were surrounding them already. As Gara has fallen asleep. You fool! Why did you allow him to sleep? As Naruto then said, What are you doing here? We were sent here to make sure that you take care of him. And then what? To take care of you. <laughs> like that will happen. What makes you think that you can take on us Jonins? As Naruto's eyes closed and opened, because I am more like him too. But much more worse. As nine tails appeared behind him, and a red, red huge nine tail formed there. While Gara was sleeping, he was taken over by Shikaku. Now instead of taking care of one tail Biju, they had to take care of nine tails as well, which was more destructive. And let's just say, the Shinobis, they were decimated. And... After that, Naruto in his QB fight state went face to face with Kazekage Rasa, who was scared shitless. Never, ever show me your face ever again. Let us allow to leave. We haven't harmed your civilians, only damaged your shinobis to the point where they can't fight for the time being. If you allow us to leave, we won't damage your village any further and beyond. Y y you can leave, said Gara. But he, he will be leaving with me. Or would you rather have two of the bijus, which are the strongest, which run over your village? No, y you can leave with him. As after that we see, Naruto and Gara, which was possessed by Shikaku, left. As Rasa was enraged, but he couldn't do anything because he knew, deep down, dealing with one tails was already hard enough. But nine tails appearing here. It was a whole new matter at its own. He, he then said to one of his shinobis, Get me in contact with Hokage ASAP. I need to talk with him. Now? Now! Said Rasa. As now we see, back in Konoha, a letter arrived in Minato's office. Huh? How can that be? <laughs> he must have been having drinks. Fine, I'll humor him. As the letter was sent and he has agreed to a meeting, it has been one week since Naruto and that incident happened. And let's just say, both of the Kages were now meeting at Tsuna. As the destruction hasn't been moved for a bit. And has been the same since then. As Minato was shocked, but how can that be? The chakra of, of the Nine Tail and the soul is sealed in within my children and all of them are back at home. Then, then why did this happen? I, I don't know, what what was the, you know, what did it look like? It was radish and chakra, then you have it there. The QB's chakra is orange and it materializes in orange chakra only. I have witnessed Kushina use it firsthand and my children as well. Then what was that nine-tailed fox? You think I've seen a ghost or something? What have you seen or what haven't you seen? I don't know, Rasa. But one thing is for certain, blaming Konoha for this destructive attack or whatever it was, it wasn't our fault. Maybe it is Shikaku who was playing mind games on you once more. Maybe it is. Maybe I know what I saw. But remember this, Minato. Our mistakes and our ignorance always comes to bite us in the back. Hard. Whatever do you mean by that, Rasa? As after that we see both of the Kages ended on that note and returned back. And... As for Naruto, we go towards him. As he was camping on the outskirts, he had enough money now to buy some supplies and camps and ninja tools. As Gara woke up, Naruto, wh where are we? We are away from your home. My home? That wasn't home, I guess. They always hated me. Well, I guess then you have a home here with me then. Where? This. But it's a tent. We can move our home wherever we want, Gara. Isn't that nice? As Gara smiled. I guess that is. As after that, both Naruto and Gara became close friends, and for one year they traveled and trained together as well, while doing some missions and becoming 
best hunter nains to their abilities. So far, Naruto was able to reach A rank, as well as for Gara, he was able to reach S rank because of his long distance battle abilities, as well as strictly following the abil abilities of an assassin like stealth and all that because of its sand release. As now we see, a year later, they were given a mission to go to the land of waves, where we see Naruto and Gara were going as Naruto was reading a bingo book as Gara was using his sand cloud to fly them there. Ah, oh, come on, seriously? What is it? said Gara. I'm still an A rank shinobi here. And your point? I mean, come on, I'm stronger than you. I have to be at least an S rank. <sighs> Naruto, you're not stronger than me. If anything, we are strong as the same. Jeez, guard, that doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I guess we are equals. That is what I'm trying to say. No, we are not. I'm much more stronger than you. Because I have the stronger Biju. Oh, is that where we are going then? I guess you're right. Are you happy now? You are an S rank, I guess. But not in this book. Ah, forget it. Naruto threw the book down. Hey, why would you do that? Stupid book. As now we see, Gara then said, The village is in sight. As Naruto and Gara monitored it from the up air. Oh my god. Look at it, Gara. It's much worse than we imagined, Naruto. They are really desperate. And that is when we see a man was being dragged in the center hall of the village. As a child and a woman was crying, an old man was also grabbed by some men. That must be Gato. As the said midget man began to speak, People of this village, How many times do I have to tell you that you are under a new rule? But it seems some of the pests here, he said grabbing the man by the hair as he screamed, have, are having a hard time realizing that that this village is under a new management and still think that they are independent and henceforth as the new management it is up to me to decide what should be the punishment of such rebellious people in my village and i have chosen this participant here as a perfect example to be put in front of you to never go against me as he then ordered one of his shinobis who brought out a katana. Now I may not be much of a shinobi but back in my day a good old swing would knock anyone's neck out. In a go of three, two, as he was about to do so, he swung but the sword fell down as a clang sound was heard and then he felt immense pain. As he saw that his hands were behind him, Grabbing the sword hilt still and they were falling down. As he screamed in agony as blood began to seep out from his arms, which were cut it up. As suddenly there was a jump and in the center heart landed a kid who was 12. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Gato and his pathetic goons. Said Naruto. As immediately a huge sword was swung by his way, which Naruto then said, Gravity Dome. As the sword was deflected off and was embedded itself into a tree. As out of nowhere from the bushes, many sunbones started towards him as well, but Naruto continued to walk and then grabbed the sad man by the neck. People of Land of Waves, you from this day onwards, you are liberated, free from his corrupted man's regime. And then a cracking sound was heard, and the sad midget was dropped to the ground, lifeless. As suddenly the goons who were scared looked towards him with rage. You are gonna pay for that kid. Am I now? And suddenly a red nine tails appeared once more. And with a single slash of its claw. It killed all of the shinobis. And suddenly the man who threw the sword grabbed the hilt. And was now standing in a defensive position alongside the man who threw the needles. As Naruto literally put his head down in the QB5 state and roared at them. Sending chills down their spine. What is it, Sabuza? Are you gonna fight or are you gonna run like you did from your own Kage? As Sabuza was shocked, he was having PTSDs when he fought Yagura. N -n no, that was three tails and this is nine. I, I can't defeat that one. How am I gonna deal with this? Haku. He said, What? What is it, Sabuza sama? We're leaving. That is a nice decision, Sabuza. Run and never look back. 
because if you do then I'll rip you to shreds said the huge fox as Zabuza then sheathed his sword and dashed as fast as he could as did Haku after the two left Naruto returned back to his normal self and began to dust its hands huh that took care of it as Naruto then turned towards the people who were looking at him with shock as suddenly Gara dropped down see you scared them I told you we need to approach this carefully but you don't listen Jeez, stop with that already Gara. it was a swift way to deal with them and besides that guy over there was gonna be a headless chicken if we didn't save him in nick of time thank you said a woman grabbing Naruto's hands w wait what w what do you mean thank you for saving us all when I say this it means for all of us you are our saviors as Tazina then placed a hand on both of them if you don't have anywhere else to stay from the looks of it you can live here we will provide you with new clothes and stuff ah oh, come on guys you're making my heart all mushy and all but you see we like the offer but we are still far from done with our training and adventures how about this when we're done we'll come and stay here would you rent a house then yes of course we'll always keep a door open for you am i right people as everyone cheered and after that we see Inari came in front of him wow you're like a hero who saved my father as my mother stated <laughs> what what do you mean hero you're like those heroes from the books who came from the sky out of nowhere and saved us all when i grew up i wanted to be like you as naruto's eyes widened as he did not realized before this moment that he had such an impact on people who he saved seriously yeah what is your name nissan as naruto was shocked as naruto then told him while rubbing his neck um naruto wow naruto nissan i'm gonna be like you just as strong as you once i grow up inari don't bother them hey can you teach me as naruto was even more shocked when this as kurama chuckled <laughs> looks like young naruto has finally found his first student Qu qu quit it Kurama. Oh, looks like someone is getting embarrassed. You no need to be embarrassed Naruto kun. I believe the kid will be happy if you agreed. As Naruto then said, Jeez Kurama, you really have to tease a guy, huh? Well, that is my job as your big brother to tease you. <sighs> Fine. Fine kid. I will teach you. We'll stay here for a bit Kara. And, you know, collect some supplies and use this village as our hideout for the time being. And that is what Naruto did. Tazuna and his builders built a house for them. More like a base to work from. And Naruto not only put it up a fence, as well as used his Fuinjutsu knowledge that he got it from the sage to protect the outer walls to make it sure that none of the enemy shinobis cross over, but also helped to begin train the newer generation in the arts of shinobi and all. And just like that, another year passed as Naruto and Gara reached at the age of 13. And as for the kids of Inari's age, they reach at the age of 10 now. As they were in strength similar to Ganins, who were now fresh out of Konoha's academy, but still inexperienced. As now we see Inari and the other kids begging Naruto to take, take them on a mission. No. For the last time, no. I'm not gonna put you all in danger. The missions I and Gara take... Those missions are dangerous, as Kara nodded. That is correct. And we would rather ha not have you in danger at all. We're gonna go near Kumo's water today. And you know how Kumo has been recently. They have been active. And they don't take lightly of any other foreigner treading near their borders. As the kids now frowned. As now we see, Naruto then said, But hey, once I return, how about we take you to a mission near Rice Country? Are you sure about that? Yeah, I mean, how hard could it be? It's just grabbing weeds and maybe we can send some animals after the kids to make sure that they have the survival instincts to survive. As then Tsunmi arrived. Well, don't put them to, through, through too much stress, but everything aside from that is fine, as the other mothers agreed. And as for the men, they have also been learning a few methods to defend themselves, such as Kenjutsu arts. Surprisingly, which also Naruto was taught by the sage, so Naruto was able to teach them. And the village was, unbeknownst to Naruto, slowly becoming 
like a small shinobi village. As after that, we see Naruto and Gara left. As Tazumi then stated to Tazuna, as Inari and her husband were at home, you, s you know, since Naruto and Gara has arrived, the whole village has been lively. Fortune after fortune has happened here, and nothing else. It's like a blessing sent from God after all those hardships that we endured. As a test of our patience. <laughs> you got that right, Tazumi. But have you noticed something? What? The elders, I mean, my generation, said Tazumi's husband. They, they are acting like they are a shinobi of some sort. I mean, Kenjutsu users. At least that is what Naruto told us. Yes, it is a Kenjutsu style, Tochan said Inari. I have been learning the, well, ninjutsu as well as fuinjutsu skills as well. And most of us are at least getting levels, as Naruto stated. As everyone was amazed, as Tazuna was in deep thought. I'm gonna have a meeting with the elders. About what, father? Something serious that is going to change the village completely. And it involves Naruto and Gara as well. Is everything alright? Nothing to be worried about, right, father? Said Tazuna's son. No, nothing to be worrying about. Said Tazuna with a smirk. While we go towards Naruto and Gara, as they were approaching Kumo's borders a few weeks later. Are you sure this is the right location, Naruto? I mean, yeah, the map stated that it, something, I mean, the target was here. And the hut was here of the bandit group. There is not a single soul here. Wait, caught something, said Naruto, using his binoculars as they jumped down from Gara's sand cloud to the ground after hopping from trees to trees just to find a Konoichi laying there. A Kumo Konoichi. As Naruto then said, Whoa, that is something that we were not expecting to find here when I said I found something. Okay, is she breathing? said Gara. Yeah, she is. Alright, what should we do then? The Kumo forces will come and pick her up. We have to leave, Naruto. What? We can't leave her like this. I mean, there are many wild animals here and all that. And plus, you sensed it right, Gara. Of course I did. She's a Jinchuriki, and you know how Kumo treats his Jinchuriki. Much better than us. I know. Said Gara. We have to leave. We don't have to worry about her. She will be fine. She's injured. We have to heal her as one of us. God damn it, Naruto. Fine. Send me the bandits and all. As Gara opened his pouch and sent the bandits towards Naruto. As Naruto began to patch up the sad girl with blonde hair and white skin. Wearing Kumo vest. As after they were done, they were about to leave until the girl woke up suddenly and grabbed Naruto by the wrist. Who are you? Uh, someone who just rescued you. Don't worry. Your group will be nearby. They will be getting getting you back soon. We have to leave. No. Kumo sold me out. Wait, what? Why would Kumo do that? Kumo's elders did. The Raikage and the others didn't. The elders they thought that they could deal with the Akatsuki, and the Akatsuki wanted a Biji to be trade with them. I was the I was the one since I was the two tails Jinchuriki. So you're Matatabis Jinchuriki. Said Naruto, how do you? Said you still with white eyes. Since you're already betrayed, you have nowhere to go, right? No. Because I highly doubt that the el elders would play fair. They might have said that I'm a traitor already, even if I'm not. How about this then? What? You come with us? Naruto, are you insane? Said Gara with a little bit of rage. Gara, she needs help. She's like you when I found you. As Gara remained quiet, after tell knowing what Naruto was telling him was the truth. Fine, you made a fair point. I'm not gonna argue anymore. As Naruto then said, thanks buddy. As they both picked her up and using the sand cloud left. As now we see, it took them a few weeks to arrive back at their base. And once they returned, Naruto let Yuisto in a room which was empty. You can use this room, Yuisto chan It's pretty much empty, but there's still a bed here that you can use. Thank you. I need to rest and get my thoughts together. We'll meet tomorrow downstairs. Fine. Perfect. As after that, we see Naruto close the door and left. As downstairs, Gara was waiting for him. Oh, Gara, you're not asleep? We need to talk. 
as Naruto sat down opposite to him. How many are you going to rescue, Naruto? What do you mean? How many of the Jinchurikis are we going to rescue? There are many other out there who are suffering as much as us. Some of them are betrayed like them. As well, who are upstairs. <sighs> I guess we gotta save them all then, Gara. Naruto, are you insane? How are we gonna afford this all? We're gonna put them to work. Like we are working for our own selves. It's not that simple, Naruto. You have to see that. The other villages will notice once the Jinchurikis will go missing. <sighs> Fine. I I promise you that this will be the last one, said Naruto. As Garden said, I hope it is Naruto. Besides, tazuna san told me something as I was returning earlier. What? What did he say? He told me that he needed to meet us. As after that, the next morning came. As discussed, Naruto and Gara went to meet with the old bridge builder to see that him alongside some of the elders of the village were waiting for them. Uh, is everything alright? Yes, we would like to know who is the one you that brought here. <sighs> she was, uh, well, Konoichi from Kumo who was betrayed by the village. I see. And when we went there, we didn't find our target, but we found it her, so we couldn't just leave her there. Since she had nowhere else to go, well, it was Naruto's idea to brought her here. Jeez, I was just telling them that, Kara. Thank you, said Naruto sarcastically. As the elders just chuckled, that is just like you, Naruto. Um, what is it that you wanted to tell us then? Well, since you have taught us so many of your skills, Naruto, we would like to make it official then. Officially what? We are going to register as a shinobi village. Wait, what? But the population here and... And... And the sh even if I have taught you something, it's just for basic survival and necessities. We can't compete with the other nations. Who says we're gonna compete, Naruto? We are gonna t going to name ourselves a shinobi nation because even if we have minimal numbers, just like rice, snow, country, we will still be able to defend ourselves. Because we are capable enough to do so now against the enemy such as bandits and all. And it will make official that if they attack one of, you know, nations like us and the and them, they will pay the price because they will be placed in the bingo book and a huge bounty will be placed on them. Something that the hunter nins would love and the bandits would like to avoid. I mean that is fine and all but who, who, who would be the daimyo of this land and who will be the kage? As for the daimyo, we have chosen Tazuna-san since he was the one who was able to, you know, find most of Gato's money back and bring it back to the village and not only that he was able to establish contract not with only land of fire but also with land of wind and stone amazing meaning you will be able to get many many reviews with the coming coming within the village yes so that leaves us with the kage have you chosen that one yes we have chosen you naruto what w what do you mean me as Tazuna smiled and placed his hand on Naruto. Trust us, kid. You not only saved us, even if you could have avoided that. You taught us your skills. Something no other shinobi would do under any circumstances. You taught us how to survive after saving us. Gave us a morale boost back. Gave us our dignity back. Something that we had long lost. And that is the least we can do by giving you the title of the Kage. But I just did that because Garu was my target, even if you did so. Fate brought you here. Fate placed you uh, Garu as your target. And that is how we met. <sighs> Jeez, I don't believe in this fate and shit, but at least give me some time to think. Think as much as you want, Naruto. We are patient. But we are gonna make our village a shinobi village soon. With, because we have reached enough numbers. What do you mean? 150 shinobis are required, Ganins, Junins, Jonis included. And we have reached so much. How so? We have reached 151 shinobis, and Konoichi is included. All the ages are different though Ganins, Junins, and Jonins. Thanks to you, within this year. As Naruto was shocked. I, I see. Wow, this gives me a lot to think about. 
guess I, I, I have to think this through before anything else. As now we see, Gara, who was also shocked, returned back with Naruto at their base. What are we gonna do, Naruto? What do you mean? Well, they chose you as a Kage. What are we gonna do now? You told us that we're not gonna stay here for much longer, but going to use this place as a base for the time being. But now, I think that we should stay here. What do you mean, Gara? You know that we don't have a permanent home, right? Or are you beginning to think that we stayed here for a few years that this is our permanent home? Because this is Naruto, is it not? This is what we wanted. A sanctuary for us. And surprisingly, we made a sanctuary for them as well. Is it that hard for you to be a Kage? I, you know that how much I hate that name, right? <sighs> I remember. But you don't have to follow his footsteps. You can be better than him. I'm sure of it. But then there's this. Will I be the good one? What do you mean? Good enough one to be able to lead a village? Who is completely dependent on me? You will be Naruto. I trust you completely. We trust you all. As you still came down. Because of your leadership abilities, I do trust you. And since you saved me, I owe you my life. And I will follow you to that Naruto. Since you are like me, we Jinchurikis will stick together. And act as pillars for this village to protect it. Said Yuisto, see, even the two tails agree. As now we see Naruto then smile. <sighs> Jeez guys, you put me in a tough spot. Fine, I agree. You happy now? As they wouldn't agree, but they too were happy. And soon after that, within a month it became an official. The land of waves became the village hidden in the waves. As Naruto was the Kage now. And they, since they all fulfilled the requirement, that was required for them to be labeled as a shinobi village everyone agreed that they are now one and now they were also placed as a shinobi nation on the map the sixth elemental nation with the most shinobi populant as time began to pass after that as one year went by and the shinobi nation that was smaller grew in grew larger in number as it was now in the same size as it was in suna and but much more civilized and well designed since Naruto had a lot of allies because of his bounty hunting missions and hunter in missions Naruto was able to use his connections from snow country and from rice country as well to update the technology as well as all the needs required to boost up the well progress within his village and let's not just forget that his his well village has many of the architects that were there from the older generations and from the newer generation who were learning as well that were growing in numbers and not only them but shinobi konvichis as well that were growing in numbers and so it was well designed as well and well protected as now we see one year later naruto was standing in an office that was made for him from which he could watch over all the village as behind him stood gara the in charge of the shinobis and yuisto their strategist as well as well as the lead Anbu Konoichi. What do you think, guys? I think we did a great job, Naruto. You did a great job, said Gara. <laughs> no, Gara. As you just said, we all did a great job. As Naruto then said, So, what's on the menu today? said Naruto, as both of their eyes rolled. Ramen? I would love to eat some ramen. You had that yesterday, Naruto. Come on, Yishita chan. You know that how much I like your ramen, said Naruto teasingly to Yuisto, who punched him on the face as she had a twitching eyebrow. You know how much I hate that Naruto, Kun, she said as Naruto was, well, quite literally shivering as he got up. Ah, jeez, whatever you say, woman. As now we see, everything was going great until one of the shinobis arrived. It was Inari who has grown up at the age of 13 and was a chunin now, Naruto. I mean, Hokage-sama. I mean, ah, just call me Naruto, it is fine. As Naruto then said, I mean, Inari then said, We found a red green haired girl flowing down the stream of river. She's wounded badly. What? And the Fujutsu master is checked, stating that she was also a Jinchuriki. Jinchuriki? As the three of them looked at each other and nodded, 
as they dashed towards that place, but they were late as a huge beetle appeared. All right, you know what to do. As the three of them formed into a perfect state of their Beiju and Jinchuriki state, as now we see three of them glowing in their respective colors as they were in the avatars of their Bijus. Stop! S Stop right there, Seven Tails. You're not going to destroy my land. You humans, all of you, it is all because of you. As now we see, the three of them calmed him down to the point where they had to hold him down and Kurama literally used punches to call him, snap him out of it. As now we see, inside the mindscape, Fu was floating as the seven tails charmed and said, It's all because of these humans that this little larvae has suffered so much. Chame, these people are different. They are our Jinchurikis and this is their village. No people are different. I used to believe that more than anyone. And look how far that has gotten me. She was, she is dying. She won't. What are you going to do? I'm gonna use this jutsu. As Naruto used some of his lifespan to make sure that she survives. Naruto, are you insane? Said Kurama. You used your lifespan. A few years of your life to save hers. Yeah, I did. I would do this for all of my friends without any regret, Kurama. Even for you, if the time comes. I hope that never comes. As now we see, Fu begin to wake up as all of her wounds heal, as Naruto felt weak, as one of his hair strands turned completely white. Where am I? Fu, you're alright. Ch Chaomi? Is that, is that you? Yes, of course, little Harvey, it is me. Thank you. Thank you, young Naruto. I am forever grateful. As after that, Naruto then said, Great, just don't destroy or harm anyone. As Naruto passed out after that, as everyone was worried about him. As now we see Naruto opening his eyes in his bed. Ah, uh, where am I? I have a headache. You idiot. You absolute imbecile. You use your lifespan. What did you expect? You were exhausted. Thankfully, nothing bad happened. As that is when we see Gara and Fu came inside. As well as Yushito, who was about to smack Naruto and was being held by... Gara Sanhan, you know I should allow her to beat you to a crunch, right Naruto? Yes, you should, said Yujito, this idiot blonde. How much longer are you going to make me worry, you damn idiot? Sorry, Yujito, how are you feeling, fool? Thank you, Naruto, I, I am fine. <sighs> well, everything is fine and great then. Not so much, Naruto. What do you mean? Everything is fine, right? Something wrong with the village? No, the village is fine. It's just some of the shinobi from Konoha were caught a team and they were scouting out our village. What? Why? Why would they do that? God knows. Uh, our interrogation team is interrogating them, but so far we haven't gotten anything out of them. And I think that you should, well, see for yourself. Two of them resemble you a lot. Menma and Mito. Your siblings? Obviously, who else? Does a moss person is in the group with silver hair that looks weirdly odd? Y yeah, I knew it. Bring me to them. As after that, we see Naruto arrive there. As behind the prison, he could, prison bar, he could hear Melma yelling, Do you know who even I am? Your pathetic village will be wiped out if my father found out what you did to us or how you treated us. Yeah, you should be kissing the grounds we walk upon. We are the child of prophecies. As Naruto then sighed and opened the door. I see that you still have the stick up of your ass. That hasn't grown shorter. As the three of them, as well as Kakashi, were shocked. Not, not, Naruto? Is that... Yes, it is me. Great, now free us. You damn idiot. Why should I do that? What were you doing in my village? Your village? <laughs> yeah, right. You belong in Konoha, you dweeb. What are you even doing here? How did you even get here? Silence. Is that how you talk to our Kage? Have you no manners? K Kage? What do you mean? Naruto here is the Kage of this village, said Gara. And you better pay him respect. If you can, then we will execute you on the spot. As Gara unleashed his killer intent, and so did Yujito and Fu. As 
Immediately they realized that these three were Jinchurikis. You're, you're all Jinchurikis, like us. <sighs> yes, we are, said Naruto. Not you. What makes you say that? I'm also a Jinchuriki of the soul who doesn't possess chakra. Tell me then this, Manma. What does then possess chakra? Everything? Does a stone possess chakra? Because it's lifeless? N no, it doesn't, obviously. Then how can you possess chakra of something without the soul even existing? Because a soul, like a tree, like a living being, like us, can absorb chakra from nature back again. As that is when immediately Kakashi realized, you are the perfect Jinchuriki of the... Yes, the Nine Tails. I am the complete Jinchuriki of it. Not the you two. But, but you never displayed any skills. Oh, you have to thank our parents for that, because they placed some chakra suppressors on me, thinking that it might suppress the Kyuubi's soul. We start my growth. That is the sole reason why I couldn't catch up to you. Otherwise, I would have wiped you to the ground. Really now? Why don't you prove it to us? If we win, you are going to come back to the village with us and hand over everything you have. If you win, we will leave peacefully. Is that understood? Said Menma. <sighs> You're not in the place to make any sort of fine, Gara. Let them have it their way. Besides, it's been a long time since they stretched. As both of them smirked devilishly, as they attacked Naruto after being freed from their restraint, as Naruto began to dodge them with ease. Stay still! Why? Is that what you say to your enemies as well in the battlefield? As Naruto neck-shot Mito, who was knocked out instantly. Mito! As Naruto appeared in front of him. You see? I told you I'm much more stronger and faster than you. And with a single swipe kick to the head, Manma, who flipped over to the side waves, was knocked out cold. As Kakashi... And Sasuke were shocked as well as impressed. Take these two and never return back to my village. As after that we see, Kakashi nodded and left. As once they reached Konoha, we see that Manma and Mito were injured as Kushina was mad. Why would the Kage do this? But they weren't telling anything until Kakashi revealed who it was. It was Naruto. What? What do you mean? He told us that he has been here. He was the one who built the village. He has, hasn't been seen, now that I think about it, for many years, Sensei. And, and he told us that the only reason why he couldn't use his full potential was because of the chakra suppressors that he put on him by, on his birth. As this now suddenly clicked in his mind. He was lying, wasn't he? No. He was telling the truth. We were, we were afraid. We were afraid that the QB, that the QB might possess him. But how did he... How did he remove those chakra suppressors? He must have mastered the Fuinjutsu, said, said Hiroz and Sarutobi. How else? And what else do you know? He has three Bijus and Jinchurik is working under him, and he is the complete Jinchurik of the Nine Tails as well, because the soul has regenerated chakra to the full potential. What? Oh no. Then. What Menma and Mito possess is the only excessive chakra that was exhausted from the QB. That is all. Y yes, Sensei. Damn it! God damn it! Should have known. <sighs> what are we gonna do, Minato? I'm gonna go there and talk to him. As while this was going on and being planned, we see that on the other side, Naruto has heard about Akatsuki. As Akatsuki has come to him and told his plan straightforward, the moss person. Hmm. So you want us to cooperate for you to take over the world in this genjutsu? And you will let us live? Yes. I have found a way to separate the biju from the jinchuriki without killing them. <sighs> Suppose that's, that we agree, said Naruto, as the others were shocked. That you should. Then... All of the bijus are gathered, and you, let's just say, created this ten tails, I presume, that will be taking chakra from the earth itself, right? Am I correct? Yes. And me. And you will be holding everyone in this, well, seal in which, um, all of them will be in their perfect dreamlike state. Yes. And what happens when the chakra depletes? As that is when he began to spoke, but no words came out. 
as as I told you, it is a big loophole in the plan. And if you're going to say we'll cross that bridge once we get there, how are you gonna cross it when you don't even have any idea what might happen? It's simple, it is bound to fail, or else it is a setup. Setup? What do you mean by that? Simple. I mean, why would anyone else then try this if it is bound to fail? Who is the one who is more persistent on it? You should check within your own group and then come here tell me. If you can find an answer to this, I'm willing to cooperate with you. As after that we see, the masked person then said, You have just proven something to me that I think will be solved immediately. If it isn't, then I will let you know not at all. As after that we see, the masked person disappeared in front of his eyes. Whew, well, that solves it. What do you mean that solves it, you idiot? Said Gara, grabbing him by the collar and shaking him violently. Have you no idea what you have done? You have just made us deal with that sociopath who's, who's gonna kill all of us. Yes, Naruto, what are you planning? Said Shikaku, as he spoke through Gara as well. That must be insane, naruto -kun. You know that this is... Outrageous, even for your standards. Jeez, guys, thanks for the support here. We support you, you know that, said Chome. But this, this is insane. This is serious, Naruto. Trust me on this one. Kurama knows what I did. As back in the Akatsuki base, I have found out something interesting that, that a huge flaw is within our plan. As after the flaw was explained to everyone, nobody gave an answer. As that then was persistent still. But we sh still need to try. What if he's... Just trying to trick you. Hmm. Pain? Use your memory reading skills on Zetsu. What? As immediately Zetsu was restrained and his memory reading skills were used. I can't believe this. See for yourself, everyone. Projection. As everyone witnessed what the true horrors he was planning to do and what the real motives were. Oh my god. Then what were we all doing then all these time? Wasting as Zetsu begin to laugh. You think you're the first ones? <laughs> I can recreate this group with a bunch of n n boneheads again who have muscle and not brains. I should have gone for them firsthand. Yes, you should, because now you're not Chibaku Tensei. As Zetsu was sealed away from the earth once more, and the whole Akatsuki operation was stopped there. What are we gonna do now? Most of you have no home. I believe I know a person who will give you a home. And as for those who wishes to stay here to look after the village, they can. Akatsuki is here for to disband it. As the man warped himself and disappeared, dropping a letter down, which was addressed. And let's just say, many of the shinobis, except for Hidan and Kaksu, went there. And they were immediately admitted inside the village. And Naruto's village grew in power. And after Naruto heard the news, he was happy that his plan was successful. And that is when the other Bijus realized Naruto just used a warfare tactic and destroyed the Akatsuki from within without the use of any power. Manpower, at least. As now we see the topic with Konoha. Konoha has ordered a meeting with them. Naruto was quite pissed at this, but Akage Summit was held anyway. And once Naruto arrived there, Everyone was quite shocked what happened. Hey old man Oniki, how have you been doing? Huh, <sighs> youngsters nowadays have no manners at all. How are you doing, kid? Ah, been fine. How are you, so? <laughs> yeah, right, you idiot. You still owe me that, you know? Owe you what? As he blushed. Ah, I see. As you still punched him in the guts. You have been two timing? No, I already told you I have my heart here, but my life elsewhere. As both of them begin to beat Naruto in front of all of them as they had a used sweat drop. You two-timing idiot. <sighs> hey, at least now that you know, can we, you know, settle down now? <sighs> Fine. You're lucky that we love you. If we didn't, we would have just left. Plus, I told you already. Yes, I guess you did. As now we see, Oniki then said, Ugh, Can we begin? You idiot. As Naruto then said, Ahem, yes we can. As Aiden said, why do you have my Jinchuriki? Because you betrayed us, betrayed her. What do you mean, Yuichito? We didn't betray you. As Matatabe then spoke, of course did, you did. What? What do you mean, Matatabe-sama? We, we never had any intentions to. Your 
elders, they made a trade with the Akatsuki. For money, they traded her and her safety and made her the bad guy in front of your eyes. Yishito, I'm so sorry. I don't need to. Hear this, Aisama. I tried to tell you, but you wouldn't listen. Even you, B Sensei. Now I have found a home, and I wish that you respect my decisions and leave us alone. This is the least I can do, I guess. We have no ill will towards you, but we will like to form an alliance and truce with you. So will we, from Eva. As the new head of Kiri, since we are like this new village, the village hidden in the waves, we will also like to form a treaty to help each other out in this time of need. Good, then I see that this meeting is no longer needed, right? Yes, from our perspective, it isn't, but the Kage ha Hokage has to spoke right now. Son, I'm not your son. I'm a Kage of a village representative. Please speak formally to me, Minato-san. <sighs> Naruto. Son. How about a peace treaty with us as well? No. W what do you mean, no? I have seen the first talent cruelty of your village, and if you now display them as saints, so yeah, no, nice try, but no. I have seen just how cruel they can be. First hand. To the point where they pushed me towards suicide as everyone was shocked when Naruto spoke of this. And thanks to that, I was able to get my powers. What do you mean? We never... As Naruto displayed his cut in his palm. You see this? This cut on my wrist? This was formed because of you all. Because of your negligence, because of your people, and their ego. And so after that, Minato then said, Naruto, we are sorry, but please, you have to understand that that prophecy can go fuck itself for all I care. The peace is already present here, can't you see that? Everyone is aiming for peace. They are tired of their differences and war that has been continued. Why do you are so hard-pressed to, well, wanting to peace with me? Because everyone has already made it clear that they don't want anything to do with you. And so did I. Let live and let there be, you know, others who live there. So there is no way for us to achieve peace then. Yes, there is none. So there can only be war. No, I don't want any peace or anything to do with Konoha. I just want for you to think of us that we don't exist and we can think of you as the same. But we do exist and we have acknowledged you as an existence. Either you are our ally or a threat. Hokage, you are crossing the line. As Naruto stopped them. You don't need to say anything, old man. You want a war? I will fight you on my own. All of your shinobis. How about that? Fine then. Your ignorance, it will be put to test, Naruto. Let's see how far while being ignorant you can go. Fine. Three days from now, I'll be at Konoha's border on my own. As everyone was shocked. Kid, are you insane? I don't want my granddaughter to, to, to be a widow. Jeez, old man, thanks for the nice confidence boost. You don't need to worry about anything. I got this already. I'm gonna use that. As the old man's eyes widen. Oh, I see. As Naruto arrived at the gates. Three days from now. As after arriving there, we see that he was still remembering what has happened back home. Gara was pissed. Yuisto was as well. Well, aiming for his head. As for Fu, she was trying to hold back Gara. Well... Gara, who was trying his hardest to, well, not kill Naruto, but to injure him so much that he couldn't leave, but, well, Naruto being Naruto, did leave. Even though his own village tried to stop him to the point they laid traps for him, but, yeah, he was, well, their master, so he had to escape. As now we see him standing there. You really did came on your own, Naruto. That was the biggest mistake that you made. As both of the siblings start towards him and Naruto punched them in the guts, sending them flying back, causing them to knock out instantly. Yeah, nice try. Said Naruto, as Minato was shocked and so was the rest. As Kushina then arrived, Naruto, please, stop this madness, I don't wish to hurt you. Oh, please get out. Gravity release, no gravity. As Kushina began to float, as she dropped her sword and grabbed a tree. Naruto, what are you doing to your mother? <laughs> well, I was here to destroy this village, but you know what? This is much funny. Zero gravity! Naruto said, as everywhere, zero gravity was formed, as they were literally grabbing themselves being upright down. As Naruto then did something, he pulled out a chair, a bendable chair, and laid down on it as he was resting there. As everyone was literally screaming in agony, I was trying their best to hold on to something. 
as they were floating. Naruto, this isn't funny. Stop this and fight us. Why should I fight when I have already defeated my enemy? Like this. <laughs> as Naruto was chuckling. This is hilarious, you know. I should take a few pictures. As Naruto began to take a few pictures as well. As Minato then said, fine, you win. And do you consent to it and even sign that you will no longer bother us? Or, you know, a pact that we don't want to fight each other but also don't acknowledge each other? Yes, yes, whatever you say. Good. Sign here then, as Naruto appeared next to him. How are you doing this? Just sign or else I will just increase the zero gravity. As they did sign and after that we see that Naruto lifted them back to the ground. Now that this document is signed, we're done here gentlemen. You don't exist for us, we don't exist for you. Let us live and you live over your, your lives. Bye! As after that we see Naruto left, humiliating them to the point that they couldn't even look him in the eye. As after that, the news spread out like wildfire, and even the land of fire Daimyo was embarrassed whenever the other Daimyos talked about this. Talking about Daimyos, well, Tazna was, well, getting tired and old, so he replaced his role with Gara himself, who mar was married to Nafu, and as for Naruto, he was married to Kuritsuchi and Yushito, and their life just got better alongside the others. As this is where I'm going to be leaving the story of guys. I hope you like this one. And if you do, then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you like the content of this channel. As this is Apollo Ochiha and I'm signing off for the day. Peace.